Hey everyone, this is Etho, and I have something a little bit different for you guys today. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but something that really interests me is programming. And I'm a hobby programmer. I have been for 15 years now. Started when I was 9 years old. And this is uh, one of my projects that I've made about a year ago. It's an experiment I did uh, using X, uh, the XNA framework in C Sharp. Uh, so basically one day when I was playing a video game, I noticed uh, one of the 2.5D effects in the game wasn't right. It didn't look right to my eyes. And it kind of made me wonder, you know, what is the right w way of doing this? What is proper perspective? And how should it really work? And that's what this is. This is my experiment to try to figure out uh, what is the proper way of doing uh, 2.5D that is calculated properly. Uh, so uh, let's give you a little demonstration of what I mean. Uh, I don't really have any images loaded into this at the moment, so I'm just going to be using this tile I drew. Uh, so I'm controlling this with my wireless Xbox 360 controller. Uh, the left thumbstick move it, moves my uh, cursor here, and the right one moves my 2.5 or my uh, my 2D camera here. Okay, so some things I can do: I can make this image bigger, smaller. Um, I can rotate it. I can rotate it a fixed amount or size it a fixed amount reset it. Uh, big deal, right? Well, one other really cool thing I can do is I can move it in three-dimensional space. And keep in mind this is a 2D game or a 2D program. They're, these are 2D textures and no 3D calculations are being taken place here. So, pretty cool. All right, so enough goofing around with that. Uh, I'll set up a little example here to show you uh, what this looks like. Uh, I'm just going to move it a fixed amount in three-dimensional space and keep pasting more of these images, one on top of each other, directly above each other. Okay. And now when I move my camera, they all move what perceives to be correct to the eyes according to their distances that I've set. So the images further back are smaller, and they also, uh, you can see with this thing, uh, the ones closer to the camera are drawn on top of the ones farther away, which is important. And also the ones further back don't move as fast when I move my camera, and the ones closer to the camera move a lot quicker. And that's kind of how the proper 2.5D effect uh, works. So this was just an experiment I did. Uh, I was planning on maybe making an editor, a full-blown editor with copy-paste, and I could set specific distances and stuff like that. This is it without the grid. This is right up front. And, uh, would like to add other things to it as well, like, uh, fading and tinting to the images that automatically changes. Uh, the really cool thing about this is I figured out how to calculate uh, like a Z pixel so that if you move something 100 pixels forward in the Z position it uh, appears to move that amount in relation to the X and Y and I can set the Z velocity for things and 
Also, I can move the camera in three dimensions as well, even though this is a 2D program, like I said. Uh, although I can't demonstrate that here because I don't have it set up at the moment. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the idea with this as an editor is I would paste all my images and set up a scene for my game, and then uh, these would get saved to a file. And then I could load these into the game if I just drop in uh, the class that does all the calculations for me and the drawing and all that. And yeah, I think something like this would have been really cool in a game like Castle Crashers that has all the great artwork. Uh, what they did is they had like five or six layers of parallax scrolling, and it looks really good, but uh, I think it would be really cool to have a game that, you know, has no limit to the number of layers set up. And yeah. I think that's all I wanted to say about this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you can think of any practical uses to a th three-dimensional 2D game, I don't know. At best it would be gimmicky, I think. I don't know if you could actually make a good game using this uh, tech or whatever. But if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. I would like to make a full-blown editor for it eventually, but it would take time, of course. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.